What is it, Fermine? What did you want to say? <clears throat> um, if you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. For what? Oh, that's what I say. <sighs> This is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, mm -hmm. right? It's rare, right? I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. I won't. I'm a perfectly logical human being. And I can understand that the outcome isn't necessarily going to go away. In fact, if anything, it's unlikely that this is going to succeed. So I'd be surprised that it does succeed, not that it doesn't. And therefore, there's no reason to blame myself. Fremine, why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? I don't think it's quite what we promised her. It's not that I'm not optimistic. It's just... You know this illness really well? Ah, so that's why you looked like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fremine, don't tell Paimon that you also... No, no. Please don't misunderstand. I've never had it. I've just... I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth. Back when we lived under the previous director. I find that a little hard to believe, given that we were just told it's incredibly rare. And yet he's encountered many cases of it in the one location. I don't believe you. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors and one state of mind to environmental factors and even leyline disorder effects. Some even say it could be caused by contamination from god remains. And from the cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even... pass away. What? It could get that serious? And here Paimon thought they'd just stop talking as much. I can't believe you didn't put two and two together, Paimon. I was literally expecting that from the beginning. <sighs> yeah, that's just the nature of it. So if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. Completely unrelated, Fremine, but how do you see out of one eye with one eye covered? It's not like, to my knowledge, that you have impaired vision in one of your eyes. Isn't that just so disorientating, not being able to see out your other eye? Just seeing blonde? Oh, I hate it when my fringe, I don't have one anymore, but when I used to have one, when it grows too long and you're trying to see through freaking hair, it's so hard. I don't know how you do it all the time, buddy. Don't worry, I've seen all kinds of things strange and difficult in this life. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's seen all of those things too. No matter how hard it might get, we won't be scared. Really? <sighs> then in that case, let's see this real-life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? After all, we'll just be using a toy as Thelxie and some ruins as the Kingdom of Water Imps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Well, I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. Not necessarily, The no. only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. I disagree. He could be harboring a fantasy because he wants to lose himself into the fantasy because it's better than his current life. It's like an extreme form of escapism. Escapism doesn't always mean that you want to save yourself. You could want to drown yourself in it, so to speak. I completely disagree with you on that front. Um, although the latter part's kind of true. 
Uh, kind of not. I had a thought while you were talking and I forgot what it was. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Picture book. What if we're, all she's doing is drawing the rest of the picture book? Why do we have to act out Thelxie's, you know, gaining the upper hand and reclaiming the kingdom of the water imps? Why can't she just draw it or paint it? Why, why do we have to act something out? That it doesn't even seem like she's going to be present for. Oh, no, it says maybe she will be present for it, but it doesn't matter. Does it, can, can she not just draw it? Why, why do we have to do this? But if we can help him regain control and escape it's from the It's not like he's going to be there watching it. Otherwise, what would we'll be the point be of picture book? We'll be able to change his world. Like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Ah, uh, that's why he is so gung-ho about having Thelxie be able to speak. Fine, fine. It's symbolism i get it but still the kid's not gonna be present for this reenactment and even if he is present for the reenactment then there's no point in having a picture book so can't we just do one or the other why must we do both oh paimon sees what you're saying now huh how do you understand all of this so well fremine because he's a reserved human being paimon hmm. well Maybe because I have also had many of my own dreams in the past. Oh, I thought we were talking about the voice part. My apologies. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. But you do know they're not real, right? So the penguin town you mentioned. Ah, so you remembered. Yeah, it was weird. Of course I remembered. What penguin town? Why does a Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't Suddenly, Fremenet pulls out a diving helmet and puts it on his head. Hey, why did you put that on? <clears throat> it's just one of my personal quirks. Uh-huh. Please pay it no mind. Okay. Anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear? is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Pear? But didn't you make Pear your- Well, Oops. I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. I'm sorry, I'm too logical a human being to get behind your thought process. I'm sure other people can, can understand where he's coming from, but I personally cannot. Because you literally created him with your bare hands. He didn't come to you in your moment of need. Like, you freaking made him. The fact that you can't seem to differentiate, that's kind of sad to me, considering you're like older and should know better and have moved past that. So... I get the romanticism of wanting to do this, but you also need to have a bit of logic and reason than that you know that you created him. Uh, Fremine, are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I can still differentiate between fantasy and Can reality. you though? I have my doubts. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. I can tell you right now it doesn't, okay? Because if all of our fairy tale worlds of our dreams existed somewhere, there would be so many worlds in existence because we always dream of something different. No, and plus that's unrealistic. The brain isn't magical like that. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. You still sound like somebody who can't differentiate reality from fantasy. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? Yeah. That's the general idea of it. I cannot get on board with this personalization of his character, but hey! He's not on my party, I don't have to put up with him. Really? I just said that because you put on your helmet! Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. You can't really see it from it's the angle. It's a very surreal feeling. Both alienating, but also as if you're being protected by something. I don't agree, but hey, you think of things the way you want to think about them. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. Yeah, it's helmet. called claustrophobia. In those moments, it's possible to see some 
truly wondrous things, as if a fairy tale has become reality. It's almost like a sort of miracle. Okay, I think it's official. Both this quest and Fremenet's personality have completely gone off the rails for me. I can't get behind your fantasies, kid. I, re I really can't. I think you need to just grow up. It's nice to have things that are like dreams and things that you enjoyed, you know, daydreaming about, but like not being able to actually differentiate between fantasy and reality is just odd and I don't like it. And if you guys think like that, fine. You guys think like that, but I don't and I find it weird. <laughs> really? It feels very childish. Like a miracle? Now I want to try on your helmet too. All it does is dim your hearing and impede your vision because you lose your peripheral vision. Well, if that's in order. Why does he keep saying that? No, hey, it's really don't you not. Hey, any time to work on Thugsy's weapon? We don't want to keep you from finishing your commission. Right. I still have to collect some tools I'll need to craft the weapon. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. Thanks for all of your I help. I don't want to. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. Okay, I mean, I could get behind the lady in her story. I still find it weird having the two things, but I could get behind it. But now this is just taking a weird turn and I did. it's just weird. Motherboard troubleshooting, record of the search for glory, and locked. Complete Prince's Country to unlock. I'm going to assume it's the quest. Okay, so we've got a heap of those. We've only got three of those. Oh, wait, is that just the quest? No. Okay. Hold up. Let's just start from here. Motherboard troubleshooting. Go to challenge. I'm standing on it, but let's go. Let's <laughs> teleport one meter to my left. <laughs> oh, you took me to the other side. Let's go. Start. I'm sure I'm supposed to have read that, but whatever. The debugging process features broken circuits. Broken circuits will immediately connect when the signal passes through an inductive switch of the corresponding. So I've got to pass through this to make this work. Yeah, okay, that's fine. 10, that's easy. Boom, done. Easy. Next challenge. There can be up to two different circuits involved in one debugging process. Circuit starting points and endpoints will have the same color. Oh, okay, so I've got to do two different uh, things. Can I cross paths? Probably not, I think I have to go all the way around. Hold on. Does the one bird have to go through the same points? So if he trips this before he gets to here, that should be fine, right? Yeah, it just has to be tripped by somebody. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um. Okay, you buddy, you just get to live your best life. You though need to procrastinate because he needs to hit this before you hit this. So unfortunately you have to do that. <laughs> right? Trip, trip. Yeah, there we go. This is fun, but super easy. After the debugging process has gone on for a while, you can use the debug manual to obtain clues about how to set the circuit up. So in other words, if you suck, or oh, after a certain time it gives you help. Okay, I need you to do, yep, okay, this is not fine. Not fine at all. Yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is. Oh, I'm gonna use too many circuits though. Okay. Oh no. Can you go this way? No, he can't. He has to go that way. Can you cross? No. Okay, 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 okay. How 
the hell to do this? Because this guy can just live his best life and go here. But this spits out here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh my god. <laughs> one, two, three, four! Right? Oh, thank god for that. <laughs> if it can be done any other way, I do not know what it is. <laughs> When a signal passes through an inductor switch of a specific color, the branching path connection direction will change. Oh, and you can repeatedly activate the switches. So am I creating a loop? I can't create a loop. I've got to get to an exit point. So what happens to Ob, mate? Hold up. Oh, he's got to wait. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Patience is virtue. Um. Hello. Yeah, that should be fine. Right? Right? You wait. He flicks across. You go away. He flicks. And he goes back. Yeah. That was cute. I feel like they're not going to give me anything particularly complicated. Other than the one I got stuck on. Um, hmm, okay, 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 One, two, three. So you've got to go further than that, except you've got to hit that. Hold on, just go. Let me figure out what I've got to fix. Okay. The problem is that that's right there. Can you take longer? Is that gonna fix my problem? Ah! Still too soon. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. We just go on a longer journey. Is that longer? Yes! There we go. <laughs> you just had to procrastinate, good sir. something has to go there. I pretty much, you just go and see what happens. Okay, 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 okay. Someone has to do a dance. You know what, you've got more space. It's gonna have to be you. Go live your best life that way. No, it has to be the other way actually. Okay, no, 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 no. Because if he flicks it, he can't go. So if he flicks it, he has access this way and to there. So then this dude has to then hit this after he's made his way there. That's a lot of wasted time. But that's okay. I have all the tiles possible to get this done. <laughs> See? Queen of procrastination. You know, I could have done it in fewer tiles, but what does it matter? The point is that I finished. I'm doing it again. <laughs> I say that, but I'm, I'm doing it again. What is the minimum number you can use to get this done? Jesus, there we go. Okay, I think that's as quick as I can get it. How many did I use? 11, cool, works for me. 20? Okay, it seems to want to challenge me. Oh, my brain just literally stopped functioning for a second. Okay, so this is conveniently already here. So if you were to live that way, Problem is that you're gonna flick that. 
But you have to go first, because this dude's gonna hit. Oh, we're going on the exact same path. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just show me where I've gone wrong. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 hurry up. Okay, now go. Passes with these. He puts himself in. Um... The problem is this, hitting this way too quickly. Actually, that's fine. The problem isn't even here. The problem is here. Right? Because it doesn't matter when he hits that, so long as this dude's past it, which he's past it. He hits it for himself, he goes home. Then he hits it for himself, and he's home. Cool. I don't need to take nearly that long. Oh, this is the last one. Oh. Sad face. Um, I don't know how many I did last time. I think that's too short. Yeah. That's why I had to go to the extra space in the first place. Ah, he's just... Okay, no, you have to go. Okay, 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 okay. You have to go the extra bit. That sucks. It's fine. It is what it is. It's fine. But I have a total of 20. I did in 15. Okay. And that's it. Aww. I really enjoyed that. I like those mini games. They were fun. Wow, it's too many games in a row that I've liked. This is so rare. Very rare for me. Look at all those primer gems. How nice. Hello. Nice. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Now, before we get tied up in these things. I'm gonna go see Catherine before I forget. It's 20 primer gems I could be missing out on because I can't remember to go see this woman. So we're just going to go do it. Add Astra. Thank you for com- Yay. And then we're gonna go back to the dude, I don't remember where he was. Mmm, Layla. Where's your dude? I cannot recall where he is. Layla Ascend, this Stuva Wacker. Where is he? Okay, sure. Totes remember that. I should be using these resin things on Farina. Look, I got sick of bashing my head against the wall. You know, there's only so many times that I can go, that's not the artifact I want, <laughs> before it just gets boring. And I'm sick of those enemies. Cause you gotta, oh dear. You gotta remember, this is the exact same enemy, the exact same domain that I had to do for uh, Nivellet's artifacts. So I've already done this domain a bajillion times. So having to do it again for Farina's artifacts is kind of super annoying. And I really wish that they'd picked a different bloody domain for the two of them. I don't know why it had to be the same. It's so dumb. Whatever. Hello, sir. I've come to whoop your ass again. That's okay with you, of course. Bow your head. Wind, hear me. This may turn a little. Share my knowledge. This is 
way easier than the other domain Earth. Settle down. Did I accidentally the tides I did accidentally click? Damn it. Saki's not even trying to hit me. Oh. Nice. Lela, you may ascend another level. We've still got one more to go, but where is she? I've lost her. There she is. Off you go, dear. I got all these lotuses just for you. Lotuses? They're lotuses, right? Lotuses? What is that in English? How did I do that? you say mm. yeah lotuses i want a big lotus hunt just for you <gasps> perfect number oh, yeah. oh wait but i have to do <sighs> i'm gonna go kill some sama charles because mm. i need to get her talents up oh speaking of which she's leveled i can actually do that now uh, of course you need those bloody things okay okay we're gonna have to do alchemy at some point that's for later that's a problem for later let me just use that. Look at two! Where'd the other one come from? No idea. I don't think I'm destined to get a character here for a while. Hmm. Ah, yeah, well. That sucks. Should I? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I just, I just. Ugh, stop telling me that. It's a horrible thing. Not that it really matters when you got 30 million more. Alright, okay. Next. Uh, here. Record of the search for glory. Scratch, scratch. Didn't we already have this one? The echoing conscious discovered the trail of iridescent glory near Mortar region. The abilities of the xenochromatic ball octopus may be a some use here. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Okay, come here, Mr. Octopus. It will be display possible iridescent glory locations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, come here. Which one is this? Ah, you gotta hold it. the healing oh. oh hi ow I don't even need to beat you up I'm just doing it because I like it <laughs> oh I've seen that underwater before, have I? I think it's always been above water. Maybe I'm wrong. What would I know? 80 primer gems? Holy shit. Might have been able to get Farina at this rate from all this. Uh, new. No. 